Hi, this is Louise Rennix. I am the bookstore manager here at the Technical College of the Low Country, and I am going to walk you through how to place an online order to have shipped to your home or to pick up at store using our website. So we are going to start right here on this is the home page of TCL's website. You're going to hover over quick links and then click on bookstore. Before we get started with the walkthrough on how to place an order, I want to show you one important page on our site. Hover over about here, and there's all kinds of information here, our store hours, our contact information, shipping information, all of that. But one real important document that we update each semester um, is right here, spring 2021 bookstore information. Obviously for future semesters that, that will be changed, but just for an example, I'm gonna pull that up. And this is just an overview of all the specifics for that particular semester. When we begin selling books, how to order your books, um, reminding students that they will need to re uh, reference their class schedule and their student ID when placing an order. If you're using financial aid to pay for your books, there's some hints here on how to be prepared for that. Um, information as far as place an order online to have shipped directly to your home. This particular semester, the shipping is free, but it may not be in forthcoming semesters, or to place an online order for pick up at the store, and the pickup procedures, days and times, everything is right here for that. So without further ado, I'm going to do this back arrow up here to get us back to um, the, the bookstore's homepage. Um, and now we will begin um, placing an order. So you're gonna hover over textbooks, click on textbook search. You're gonna scroll down a bit. You're gonna um, pick the semester to which you're buying for. Be very careful that you're choosing the forthcoming semester um, that you need your books and supplies for. So I'm gonna click on spring 2021. Um, I am taking three classes. One of them is accounting 101. So I am gonna uh, click on ACC because that's the course prefix for accounting and you can get this information off of your schedule, uh, which you can pull from self-service. And I am in 101, so I am gonna click 101. The all behind that is all teachers and all sections are using the same materials for that particular course. My next course is AHS 102. And my last course is Biology um, 210, so Bio 210. Then I'm gonna scroll down and you're gonna click this button here, view your materials. Once you get here, everything that is required uh, or optional for these classes is gonna pull up right here. The first course that I plugged in was ACC 101. So um, this is the required eText access code for this class. It's very important before you add to cart to read all book notes. Um, this particular course said read this before purchasing, which means it must be extra important down to uh, my next class, AHS 102. This happens to be an inclusive access course. This is the type of course where we add the price of your electronic book to your tuition at the time of registration. So as this says here, no purchase necessary. We've got some optional study aids for this course. And then my last course is Bio 210. This is an open educational resource book. Um, these are free materials that your instructor will supply to you on the first day of class. So no pur purchase necessary here. We've got an optional print version of this text um, that you can buy if you prefer to have that physical book in front of you. Got another optional text. Um, and here we've got a required lab kit voucher. Um, so be extra careful that you're paying attention to each item, whether it's optional, required, recommended, just a study aid, um, because you must have the required items for your class and all this information comes directly from your instructors. 
So I'm gonna scroll down a bit. I'm gonna put one item in my cart so I can walk through the checkout process with you. So I'm gonna add this item into my cart and I'm going to continue to check out. And I am going to continue to check out again. This is just letting us know um, what is, what's currently in your cart. So continue to check out. This question uh, um, will sometimes pop up in the event that the instructor changes the materials for your course. How would you like us to update your order? Um, add only required items, add all materials, or do not add to order. We suggest that you choose do not add to order just so there's not any issues with mistakes where you might get something that you otherwise um, would not have ordered. So just choose do not add to order there and continue. And now we are going to payment options right here. And this is where you have to log in to your TCL bookstore account. Um, if you don't already have a login, then you will register right here. I already have one, so I'm gonna log in here. My um, password fills in for me because I've been on the site so many times. And then I'm just gonna hit log in. Um, just make note that Unless you created it the same way, this could be a different login and password than your other TCL accounts. Um, so unless you set it up to be the same one as your self-service or your Blackboard, um, it, it could be different. So you should really jot down this user ID and password so you will have it for fu future orders. Like I said, it's not, it's not necessarily the same one you use for your other TCL accounts. From here, you're gonna log in. Um, if you're planning on paying with financial aid, you can click here to, see, to make sure the items in your cart are covered by your financial aid funds. And then you're gonna decide whether you wanna pick up the order or, or have the order shipped to your home. So I'm gonna show you both ways. The first way I'm gonna choose is pick up your order. And here you're just gonna verify that your billing address is correct and that it matches the debit or credit card number that you're gonna to use to pay for your order. And you're gonna continue here. Um, this particular semester, there's no convenience fee for um, a, um, a pickup at store order. Um, some semesters there, there may be. Um, do not come to the store to pick up your order until you receive your order pickup confirmation, which is different from just your order confirmation. So after you place the order, first you'll get an order confirmation, and then second you'll get um, an order that says your order's actually ready for pickup. You're gonna continue here. And then you're gonna choose your payment option. If you're using a debit or credit card, you are gonna choose credit card and then fill in the appropriate information here. Um, comments are for, are for anything out of the ordinary that you feel like that the bookstore staff may need to know about your order. I'm gonna come back up here and now say that I wanna pay by financial aid in case you're a financial aid student. And from here, you need to enter your account number, which is your seven um, digit student ID number, which includes the preceding zero. You must check this box here, which gives us permission to use your financial aid funds to cover your purchase. A uh, backup credit card is required when you place a financial aid order. Um, even if you think your order will be completely covered by financial aid, you still must put in a credit card here. Um, it, will only be, it will only be accessed if you do not have enough financial aid um, to, to cover your order. Um, if you have enough financial aid, your credit card, debit card will not be touched. Okay, I am going to go back one screen actually two screens to get back so I can show you a sample of sh um, to ship your order. So we're going to ship order now. You want to make sure your billing address is correct and your, sh and your shipping address is correct and we do not ship to PO boxes. So please have a good physical address for us to ship to. If you're planning on paying by debit or credit card, this billing address must match the um, 
that the billing address link to your debit or credit card. And we are going to continue from here. Um, this is going to tell you the price of your, your shipping right here for the spring semester. It happens to be free, but in forthcoming semesters, there will most likely be a shipping fee. So pay close attention to that and continue. And then the same payment options that I showed you a minute ago for the pickup orders. Then you're going to scroll down here and you're going to submit your payment. Um, I'm not going to go any further there because I don't really want to buy this item. I was just showing you this as a sample. So that is all I have for today. Um, I hope you guys have a great semester. If you have um, any questions or concerns, um, just contact us using this tab up here. Um, the contact us tab is our contact information. Thanks and have a great day.